you have to uh, you have to understand that as the motor is spinning, as the as the fan is being spun, this hub is constantly threading into the fan. So it's going to go, it's going to come off in the direction that the fan blades are pointed in the front. If they're going this way, then that's the way that the blade goes. If they're going this way, then, then it goes the other direction. But the trick is, is to look at the leading edge. Anyway, use the air chisel, get the thing loose, and you just spin it off the hub. You want to be careful, you don't want this thing to clunk down real hard and dent the radiator or possibly put a hole in the thing. And you can just be careful as you let it down. And now, you let the whole shooting match out. It's got to come out as one unit. Both the fan shroud and the fan have to come out together. There's no way to do one without the other. So, so basically, we've got to struggle it out just a little bit here. And out the whole shooting match comes. We set it off to the side here out of your way so you don't trip on it. And now, the whole space is cleared and wide open, and the rest of it's relatively easy. At this point, you know, notice that the belt is still on, okay? You leave the belt on, otherwise you'll never get that fan loose out of there. And now you can get at the belt and you get at all the pieces inside here very easily. It's all very, very clearly in here now. You can even get the lower radiator hose off from the top. 10 millimeter socket on the end of a good air ratchet will snatch off these bolts quite quickly. And these are regular threads always. Before you take the belt loose and remove the pulley on the water pump, you want to uh, make sure that you have this sticker on your, uh, on your uh, core support or here in the front of the truck. Uh, make sure you have the picture of what the belt routing is. You can drive yourself crazy trying to figure out how to put one of these belts back on here if you don't have this picture. So make sure you, if you don't have this, make sure you take a piece of paper and make a note of uh, how the pulleys are, are, are set and if the, the belt rides on its, on its back on that pulley or if it rides on the ribbed part. Uh, now, we go ahead and we've got, the, we've got the upper pulley off, we've removed it, we've got the belt loose and pretty much out of the way, and now the next step is to go ahead and remove these two, the upper and lower hose. Okay, now, we're at this point where there's a temperature sensor that's on top, you unplug that, now I like to unbolt all of the sensors and everything off of the water pump before I remove it because it's a, it's a real pain to try to put this thing in a vise and hold it still. It's, it's attached to the motor and uh, you want to go ahead and take these sensors loose. You make sure that, that when, you, when you do this that when you put the wrench in you don't put it to this side. You put it to this side. That way when you loosen it you're going away from the radiator. The radiator is made out of aluminum as you can see right down here it's all aluminum and it's, it's very soft aluminum and it's very delicate and so if, you're, so if you're pulling on a wrench going this direction you don't want to do it into the radiator. Now if you're gonna if you want to go ahead and pull the water pump and pull the sensors and uh, pull this, uh, this water neck here because we're gonna need that for the other water pump you know it might be better to put it in a vise. I just do it with it on the truck I'm just careful and take my time uh, but either way you do it uh, you've got to remove this and the, the, the water neck and the sensor and the, uh, and the thermostat housing off of this water pump so that you can install it on the new water pump. Okay, now go ahead and just break the sensor loose. Take your time. Three quarter inch wrench. 19 millimeter I think it is. And just take her loose. Take your time. It's got plastic tip on the top. You don't want to snap or break any of that stuff. I like to use the box in. That way I've got grip on all six sides of the nut. Get that one out of there and set it off to the side. Then we want to do the same with the big one. Again, we don't want to we don't want to go towards the radiator. Don't want to pull towards the radiator if you choose this method. Go ahead and push it away from the radiator and uh, get it loose and get her out of there. Okay, now that you got the sensors and the and the upper water neck off there, now we got to go ahead and just take the bolts out. And this is again a spot where air tools are real nice to have. Uh, these are all 10 millimeter bolts and. We just want to zip them off of there. Get all the bolts out. There's no gasket seal or anything used on these water pumps. It's just an O-ring, basically, a uh, type seal. Uh, and once you get all the bolts out, it, just give it a little pull, and she'll pop right off of here. Be careful. There's sometimes uh, sensors or uh, wires attached to the edges of it, and uh, be careful not to hit the radiator as you pull it out. 
as you uh, can see, it's a slightly different design and on the uh, on the factory water pump. They use a neck here that has a, a seal inside of it, but the aftermarket pump has eliminated that, and it's a solid casting all the way down. I don't know what difference it makes, but it, it seems to make some difference. I don't I don't I don't know what it is, but it's a little bit different. The other thing that they include in the kit that's that's different is that they include the three long bolts and they, uh, a variety of plugs and also the uh, bolts that go to the uh, to the pulley. They want to replace that. Lots of times when the, the bolts get stretched or the pulley's not tightened correctly, the pulley rattle around on here and they'll damage the pulley and then you're in trouble. You've got to make sure that, that those are replaced. So we use the complete kit. It's got the new, the new uh, gasket and the new seal that goes on the uh, the water inlet here for the for the heater. What I do is I use a little bit of gasket sealer in key spots to hold the gasket in there long enough for me to install the water pump.